Well, this is the rotor that we finish, as you see. Okay, this is the magnets. I, I put them with polyester. Let's take the rotor inside. Oh, it's inside, okay. Now we are going to close. And to put the bolt, some, two bolts only, just for the test. It's, it's really a t first test. Uh, what I want to tell you that this motor is small, but I transfer from induction motor to, I, I transfer it now to a permanent magnet motor. And we are going to test it. And the target is to put this motor, of course, on my machine. I don't have the component that I need. I need to change the white pulley on the machine and to put a transmission of a motorbike of a 50cc one with a small chain, but this one will work as well with the belt. Because I built a, trans a permanent magnet motor that will sit still suit as a belt. We can put a belt. I have to change the pulley there. I have to replace the black permanent magnet motor that we have on the machine. And to put this motor, okay? Now, this motor is not have a big objection. That was very nice because permanent magnet motor has a nice, very strong objection. You can see, I can spin it. Uh, it's not very, very strong, you see, it's very nice. We have to put it right. You see, it's not very, it's, it's been very nice. It's not very, not, not a big ob objection. Now, let's, let's try to spin it first to see how, how much voltage we can get. Uh, have a look here. I put it on uh, AC, you see? 30 volt, 28 volt, you see with my hand, okay? With my hand. Now, let's put it just on the, on the driller for one second to see how much we can get. You have to see post this machine has to be replaced with my machine there. Okay, with my machine there. Now, let's do it. We are putting this just here, one second. We are inside, and let's try to see the voltage. Have a look. We have 220 volts. With very, very. Imagine if I, I'm not pushing even the button to the quarter of the driller. If you want to do it faster, 400 volts. You see? It's crazy. It's crazy. Now let's put the bulb. The bulb is 60 watt, as you see. Okay, 60 watt. Now, the, 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 the wire of the bulb go here to the output of the motor. Have a look. You see, the voltage. The light. Okay. I don't want to burn the bulb, but as you see, we can do it. Now let's try to put a ventilator, maybe. I don't know if it will work, but we can try. I will bring one. is to put this motor on my machine so we have a, we can replace the black motor that is have only 20 watt we, we have a lot of watt I see already let's see if I can connect this ventilator it's a test if it's not work it doesn't matter but we try we take the bulb out first replace the current from the from the bulb we are going to try to put now the the ventilator, okay? Let's see. I try to do it myself, like this. Uh, 
So you see the builder law is working again. You see? The builder law is working. Okay, I cannot do everything with my hand with my one hand. But as you see, the ventilator is working. Now I can take another one to try as well. You never know what we can try. Let's put it here. And now we try. Who knows? The problem is the machine, I cannot... You see? The middle of is walking. So this ventilator say 30 watt. This ventilator is uh, is 28 watts. It's the same. And this is 60 watt the bulb. So it's nice. I'm happy. Thank you. Bye.